In this video, I will show you the Onzemi AI Camera Kit. It includes an AR0830 camera, the IAS camera extension and the VHD Plus Core Max 10 Ultra. First, you have to install the spaces and then you can plug in the extension and the camera. If you are new to the VHD Plus IDE, download and install Quartus and the VHD Plus IDE. Now you are ready to start FPGA programming. Install the VHD Plus libraries and the driver for the Core Max 10. And make sure that the path to Quartus is set correctly. Create a new project and choose between the USB, HDMI or AI example. First, I show you how the USB interface works. Here the image streams are connected and you can see the components for receiving data from the camera, color correction, the SD-RAM buffer and the USB interface. Select the Core Max 10 Ultra. You have to add the camera extension to connect the pins. The pins for SD-RAM and UART are connected automatically. Compile the project. Connect the board and program the FPGA. Go to the serial monitor, select 12 MB and the COM port. Then open image viewer. For testing purpose, I first try the maximum resolution and take a picture. The brightness is automatically adjusted by the FPGA. In the image data file, you can set the exposure and the maximum resolution. If you reduce the image size, the frame rate is increased. Now, I will show you an example with the VHD Plus AI libraries. Select AI demo and create a new project. The project includes libraries to realize most elements of neural networks. Also, some filters and the standard camera libraries are included. To output the prediction of the neural network, string and UART libraries are needed. To train the neural network, you can open a TensorFlow training file in Google Colab and follow the instructions. In this example, handwritten numbers will be detected with the MNIST dataset. To use the dataset for images of handwritten numbers on paper, the image is converted to grayscale, the contrast is increased and black lines on paper are converted to white lines on a black background. This image is then displayed on a monitor. A square cutout of the image is fed into the neural network and the output is a predicted number with the estimation of the neural network. The neural network can be modified in this file. The convolutions, pooling layer and dense layer have to be connected like in the TensorFlow model. In this file, the trained weights are defined. These values can be exported with the Python training program. Here, you can set some basic settings like the input size and the calculation precision. Now, you are able to compile everything. The Core Max 10 should also work for small neural networks, but with twice the logic elements, the Core Max 10 Ultra offers enough resources to also experiment with more advanced neural networks. Select that the ROM should be initialized so the weights are saved. Then you can connect the pins and compile everything. Program the FPGA and you are able to save the program onto the FPGA as well. Select 19200 baud and select the serial port. Then you should see the predictions. 
You can change the brightness of the image and position the number in the middle of the screen to get the best possible predictions. You can see how the predictions change when I put a different number under the camera. For more information on how to use image processing and how to program an FPGA, check out our other videos on YouTube or the article on our website. Thanks for watching.